Hi guys, welcome back on my channel again today. So today I want to talk about something very special and it's because the reason why I'm doing this video today is because I see that this topic is really important, especially for many of you there, which is confused that in regard of this kind of uh, topic. So basically in this short video, I want to make the tutorial about the, there is like, if you go to the mission and you go to the epic quest, you will see that there are some couple of epic quests here. And you will see that especially uh, for the first three, three epic quests, which is the Fantastic Four, the Deadpool, and the X-Men. This on, there are only of these three epic, epic quests where you can just find that you have to buy a particular specific quest or mission to unlock a special character and to unlock a one good character. So I see that these questions are raised mostly out there by new players who join into this game and they are con they have a very limited resources and they are confused about what kind of quest that they have to buy. So as many of you already know, especially those who already on unlock the epic quest that to gain the special character here, which is like Doctor Doom, you have to unlock a special character. To you have to unlock a one character, which is Invincible Woman, and to get the Invincible Woman, you have to buy a particular character, which is the Deluxe Bonus Reward, which is the Deluxe the Deluxe Quest, and this Deluxe Quest truly require you like. 6600 crystals and that goes the same with the deadpool as well in this deadpool mission if you want to unlock the special character strife then you have to get the psylocke which is if you want to unlock the psylocke you have to buy the deluxe quest as well and it costs you another 6600 crystal and it goes the same way as well in the x-men mission if you want to unlock the special character gen gray or phoenix you have to unlock the magneto which is it costs you the same it costs you the 6600 crystal uh, by purchasing his deluxe mission so guys i just want to say that in order to unlock these three special character the jean gray the strive and also the dr doom it requires you in total 19,800 crystal guys so can you imagine like almost 20,000 crystal span and it requires you a lot and if we go into the store if we go into the stores and if we buy the highest expensive package here that give you 12,000 crystal only not even 20,000 you are still like almost 8,000 short it costs you in my currency is about uh 120 us dollar or or a 100 almost 130 us dollars so guys i just want to say that i i i want to give you some con a clue about how to save your twenty thousand crystals and use it properly to use it properly guys only for you guys so now it comes to our mind so from this three deluxe quests which one is the most important and which one is the least important i would say so we better go it one by one from the beginning so if we take a look into the fantastic four deluxe quest we can find out that we have in order to purchase dr doom we have to acquire invincible woman but the question is how good are both compared to the other i want to say that from the um dr doom quest dr doom is one of the best villain if you want to do the alliance battle extremes with the requirement of the villain and the universal type then dr doom is a good to go but you can still acquire a thanos which is thanos is a very usable character in a lot of mode compared to dr doom so i would say that the priority to get dr doom it's not as high as the other so i would say that if you want to use your twenty thousand crystals wisely then i would suggest that you are not going first for the dr doom deluxe quest unless you truly have a lot of crystal and money it doesn't matter for you so i would keep it for later and let's take a look into the deadpool mission if you want to go to the strife 
Now Strife is also usable in the Alliance Battle Extremes. He's a nice character. You can uh, quite score a high uh, score over there if the requirement is a super villain and a blast. But just as this newest update, if we want to take a look into the one of the best blast uh, super villain character, then I would go for Cyclops because Cyclops he is a super villain hero with this uniform of the Phoenix 5 uniform and he can be up into the tier 3 and Cyclops here also as a blast type so I would say that for this um, epic quest if you want to unlock the strife and in order to get the Psylocke Psylocke is a really good, good character Psylocke is one of the strongest blast superheroes here with the newest uniform and then Strife is so Strife is also one of the strongest blast super villain, and you not only use them in the Alliance Battle Mode extremes, you can use them in the Shadowland, you can use them in the Alliance Conquest, and even in the beginning, Strife is also quite usable in the Alliance timeline. Also, before the trio Thanos, Captain Marvel, and the Phoenix Jean Grey coming, Strife is one of the best. But guys, so let's keep this for later, and let's talk about the third one, the rest of the X Men. I would say this is the best priority. So this is the priority number one, the rebirth of the Phoenix. Why? Because here you can acquire the Jean Grey and the Jean Grey is like one of the must have character in this game. And the, the, the problem is the Magneto. Magneto is not that great. If you, if you spend 6,600 crystal, Magneto is totally not that great, even though he already the tier three capability but the Jean Grey is totally a real deal here and you have to get her because she has the Phoenix uniform and she is one of the best characters that you can use her in the timeline battle. She is very usable in the timeline battle. And then she is very usable in the Alliance uh, battle extreme. She is very usable in the Alliance conquest. And in many other modes, Shadowland and as any other mode, you can use her and she's totally a recommended character that you need to get first. So I, from the three of them that I already talked about, X-Men Deluxe Quest supposed to be your first priority because of her. Because you only can unlock her if you buy the Magneto. So now let's come to the number two. It's a quite a hard and difficult choice between the Doctor Doom, Invincible Woman, the Psylocke and also the Strife. So if I would say, if I would say which one is the most priority here, then I would go into the Doctor Doom first. So the Doctor Doom is supposed to be your second choice. Why? Because um, it's very difficult to build Thanos. If you want to have like a super villain with the universal type, then Thanos is a good to go, but in order to build Thanos, you truly need a lot of resources, just as same as you want to build Doctor Doom. But it's up to you if you want to build Doctor Doom, and since he is a hard-earned resources character, then I would suggest that you better go for him first because of her Invisible Woman is also nice, a very good character as well. Especially if you want to combine Invincible Woman with the other character as well. And Invincible Woman recently she also has the newest uniform which is the Future Foundation. So I would say that the second choice in my opinion, once again in my opinion, it would be the Doctor Doom. Deluxe package and then later on you can go the last but not the least. You can go for the Strive Deluxe Quest, which is gonna uh, give you instantly acquiring the Psylocke, which is Psylocke is a very usable, very good character, very good blast superhero. She has the newest uniform as well, so you can buy her and then you can acquire her as well. And then after that, you can have Strive. But once again, in order to build the um, blast super villain type, you can now just buy the Cyclops uniform, which is very cheap, only 1050 crystals cost when you buy it during the discount but if you want to buy strife is also it's up to you but i would suggest that strife would be the number three or the least important from all of them so guys now you don't have to be confused again we have number one the phoenix we have number two the uh 
Fantastic Four. And then we have number three, the Deadpool mission, which is going to give you the Strife. So guys, it's now up to you which one you want to use. Save your crystal. It can help you save your crystal. It can help you prioritize your crystal for a better build character. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope my tips and can tricks can help you out there. Have a good time and enjoy your gameplay, guys. Bye-bye.